Welcome back, this is the Amish Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Biotic Slab Suicidal, and this is my normal voice. It's not Spongebob this time. I'm sorry if you were looking forward to a GLaDOS reading of the intro. I have let you down. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person. I know. I know. I'm deeply apologetic for my, uh... Subjecting you to such a traumatic and debilitating experience as a uh, individual. Uh, I can't. I, I was trying to think of other words. I am. I'm, I'm done. We're, that's it. That's that's as far as it goes. Okay, the bit doesn't. It doesn't go anywhere from there. Get out of here. Man, I love Killing Floor too. I really do. You know, like it's just. Um, it's just a good game. You know what I mean? You break this? You can! That's what I'm talking about. It's a fantastic game, you know? I just love it, man. Anyway, anyway, anyway. We gotta talk about something of a uh, little substance. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. It's hard to come up with topics. I talk about that all the time, about how hard it is to come up with topics, but I'm sure you've heard enough about that. Last episode was a bit of a, uh... You know, whenever we have an emotional episode of sorts, not necessarily like an emotional, but, but one that kind of touches on some touchy topics, I like to... Pull up some, some light-hearted topics in the next one to kind of even it out, you know? Keep the overall sort of theme of the, the series being a little bit more easygoing, more laid back. But I'm just I'm having trouble thinking of some, some light-heartedness here. It's really, the, it's really the main problem. I ordered sushi yesterday, right? And uh, I ordered from sushi -a. It's uh, It's a little... It's, you know what? Heck it. sushi -a. Are they a... Are they a, um... Uh... Looks like they are a... Like, what's the word for it? When they have, like, like, like... Franchised or something? So they got it over in, like, Toronto. They got it, you know, all over Canada. I think it's a Canadian restaurant, maybe? I'm not sure. But it's my, it's my favorite sushi restaurants, at least in the area. If I were over in Vancouver, I'd probably go somewhere else. Um, but Vancouver is a, it's a foodie city, you know? It's, it's a... Hello? Uh, <laughs> Vancouver is a foodie city. You know, if you're over there, you got to go for either the cheapest stuff you can or, alternatively, the fanciest stuff you can. One or the other, right? If you're visiting, anyway. If, you, if you're living there, you probably, like, live a little bit more normally. But when you're visiting... You know, you're a visitor. You're a tourist. You, you do the touristy things, and you, you put on your touristy outfit with your Canada flag and whatever other kind of Vancouver paraphernalia you can get. Hello. And you, you walk around looking like an obvious, you know, tourist. <laughs> and uh, you look like a fool. Not these days, of course, because who the heck's going touring in uh, 2021, you know? Probably, probably a lot of irresponsible people. But sushi has my it's my favorite sushi restaurant for two reasons. Well, like probably like three. Uh, the first of which is that they exist and are um, affordable. <laughs> that's that's definitely a, uh, a plus for me. Uh, you know they they exist. They're on skip the dishes. I can order food. They're affordable. It's like convenient. You know the convenience factor is is definitely there. But uh... no. Um, second reason is that, like, they also just taste really good. Like, their sushi tastes really good. Uh, stop it. Oh my god. This is too many husks. I don't approve of this number of husks. Um, you know, they, they taste, their, their sushi tastes really good. But the most important reason that, that I view them as being the superior sushi restaurant is that when you order food from them, you get them in these, like, clamshell boxes, you know, the, the styrofoam and like you get the the top part of it and then you get the bottom part of it and the, the sushi goes inside it but on the top of the, the 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 little carton they put little drawings on it I think I've talked about it before but yesterday I uh, I got the I ordered like a 
A red dragon roll. Not ordering that again, by the way. <laughs> it was like $18 for the roll. It was really expensive, but I'm like, I don't know. I want to order it and find out what the heck it is. Uh, was it yesterday they ordered it? I can't even remember. Might have ordered it the day before. I don't know, recently. I ordered, <laughs> yeah, I ordered a red dragon roll. Um, and uh, not ordering that again. It's like enormous. It was it was entirely too much. I, think, yeah, I don't think I ordered it yesterday. I think it would have been the day before. I don't know. I thought I ordered it yesterday, but I don't think I did. Yeah, my memory is just kind of jump. Doesn't matter. It <laughs> doesn't matter whether it was the day before yesterday or whatever. It does like that's not the point. Um, but the point is, is that I ordered a red dragon roll, and it's uh, it's a calamite roll, which is like. Uh, well, I didn't know what it was before I ordered it, but I've I've since learned it is a, a tempura prawn with crab and avocado and cucumber. In a, in a roll so like that's just that's a big roll on itself uh, and then it's also topped with uh, with salmon so you get raw salmon on the top but it's just an enormous roll like it's huge there's a reason it costs $18 I thought the reason might be that it was like made from expensive stuff no the reason is that it is made from a lot of things <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's just a lot so I'll probably never order. Well, I probably ordered again eventually, but uh, nah, not really. It's it's just too much, you know. It's it's too much for one person to eat. Is really what it boils down to. Anyway, on the on the top of it, they drew like a cute little dragon, and it was uh, it was really cute. Sometimes I get like a little kappa drawn on my kappa roll, and it's just it's cute. I like it. I appreciate it, you know, when when you when you order from somewhere and they put in that little bit of extra effort to make it a, a good experience overall. You know, it pays off. It really does. I hope they're enjoying it. I hope it's not like a I have to draw this. You know, I hope I hope they're just like doing it and they just like yeah, I just draw. And then their boss is like, hey, you don't have to do that, but like it's working. So if you want to keep doing it, you know, I hope it's I hope it's that kind of situation rather than a yes, you have to draw something because uh, that would suck. And I would hate supporting that. But, I don't know, I wouldn't hate supporting it. But, like, I'd feel bad, like, feeling so happy about it. You know what I mean? Falling into that trap. Um, but they, uh, they draw on it, and it makes me, it makes me happy. It makes me happy to order from them. It's like, I want to just order it so I can see what you're going to draw on the, on the boxes. It's fun around, uh, like, seasonal things. They, they draw seasonal stuff on it. Like reindeer for Christmas. When Easter comes up, there'll probably be like you know rabbits and bunnies drawn on it and stuff. It's really, it's really cute. I really like it. Next time I order it, I don't know when it'll be, but next time I order it, I might uh, typically order it like maybe once, twice a week. A little bit of sushi. I like sushi. Okay. I'm not. Uh, it's not expensive, you know. It's like uh, ten dollar minimum or something like that. It's not. It's not. It's not that expensive. For like uh, a lunch, and well, for for like honestly, like for the food for most of the day, even for like 15 bucks, it's not that expensive. It's definitely not like budget food, but it's it's, it's affordable, and it's reasonably reasonably healthy. It's better than ordering like McDonald's or something, for sure. Better than like making a fried egg or something. Um, so I, I order sushi quite often. But so next time I ordered, I might take a picture and show it to you guys because it's really cute. I'll have to order some that they want to draw on though. I'm not ordering another red dragon roll because that thing was just enormous. It was the biggest damn sushi roll I've ever seen. I like the worst part is, is whenever you get the like sushi that has the tempura rolls in it, or yeah, that has the tempura shrimp in it. Um, the ends are like always super big because it's just hard to cut, you know. Like it's hard to cut it with the with the tail being there and then the shrimp not like falling out um so it, it'll always be a little bit thicker and it's just it's just super bad it's like fine but it's just it's not the kind of sushi i like you know i'm i'm honestly like a big fan of uh very simple stuff you know like uh honestly like the simpler the better like a cute like literally a cucumber roll is my favorite sushi roll <laughs> I'm uh, I'm very easy to please. I like I like it simple, you know. But 
Yeah, it was. It was. I, I like. I like the the cuteness on it. It's nice. Yeah, I, I appreciate the. Hello. I appreciate it. You know. I saw the way you took down that flesh pound. It didn't stand a chance. It did not stand a chance. That's correct. It was fighting me. The only way they ever stand a chance is if they ambush me. Somebody got a lucky ambush in, in the last episode. Jerks. You guys like chocolate? What's your favorite candy? I don't know what my favorite candy is. I think, um... I think my favorite candy would have to be... You know those, like, uh, key things? Those, like, candy keys? It's always a thing here. There used to always, like, 100% of the time be one there. So my strategy when I played Biotics Lab was I'd, I'd come here and pick that up first and then sell it on the, on the trader wave. Um... Mm. Uh, but my yeah, you know those little like, candy key things. They're not like real keys. They just like have a circle on them and then like a little nubbin. I think I think those have to be my favorite key, my my favorite candies. I just I really like them. They're uh, like mildly sour. Very, they got a good chew to them. And uh, yeah, they're just they're just good. I like them. What more can you ask for from a candy? You know? I'm more of a chocolate person, I think, than a candy person. I, I think most people tend to be more chocolate than candy. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely more into... <laughs> you, you see that? Thing just got yeeted. My god. Yeah, let's, let's run her through another one. I want to. I want to see this. Oh, she was. She wasn't going to eat this one. Apparently, it's okay. Um, I think. I think most people are, are tend to be more chocolate than than candy. Although I know a few people who do not like chocolate. I know a lot of people who don't like chocolate. It's not like everybody has to like chocolate. I feel like a lot of people don't. But uh, of the people who are into to sweets, I feel like chocolate's the more popular one. For me, it's definitely true. But sometimes, you know, a nice candy is okay as well, right? Sometimes. Neither of them are things I eat particularly often <laughs> because they're both really bad for you. But uh, I think my I think my favorite candy has to be those little uh, either that or like the watermelon candies. You know, those are really good too. What's your favorite kind of candy flavoring, though? Because I think mine has to be mango. Because if there's ever a thing, you know, it's like, yeah, you can have the, the strawberry, you can have the banana, or you can have the mango. And it's like, you know, mango juice or mango candy or, you know, mango whatever. It's mango, like 100% of the time. It's the best option. It just is. It's not the best fruit. Banana is the best fruit. But mango is... It's like the uh, the best fruit that's made into a like snack or drink or something you know like the the mango like concentrate is is the best fruit concentrate you know i know blackberries tend to be a fairly controversial thing too like a lot of people don't like blackberries to the extent where a lot of people just like assume that blackberries aren't even liked like a lot, a lot of people assume that that blackberries are like you know, always a second choice. I disagree. I should just do like a whole fruit tier list. I, I disagree. I think that blackberries are the best berry. I got I got an interesting outlook on berries. I think. I think I think that my uh, my berry tier list definitely uh, is uh, is is one of a kind. But blackberries are the best berry by far. It's like. You know, you put blackberries in the like SS tier, and then the rest of the berries go in the A tier. You know, they're just they're they're many many leagues above every other berry in existence because they're uh, delightful. They are the uh, the best berry by far. Um, after that would be probably raspberries, and then uh, you got gooseberries, which are a berry that. A lot of people have never tried, but my grandfather always grew them in his uh, in his yard. These days, they live in an apartment, so we don't get uh, 
we don't get gooseberries anymore. But back in the day, we'd get uh, we'd get gooseberries all the time. He'd bring them over in a big bucket of gooseberries, which was always fun and delicious. Um, after that, I think you got to put blueberries. Blueberries are, are are also up there, just a step below the uh, the raspberries and the the gooseberries. And then uh, gooseberries come in this like little. They come like packaged. You gotta like unwrap them. I don't know if they're technically a berry, but uh, they are called a berry. I feel like they wouldn't be, um, just by the nature of them. But at the same time, they might be. I don't know. Um, isn't like pepper a berry as well? I don't know. Is it a grape? Peppercorn's a grape, I think. I don't know. Um. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And then after that, you get strawberries at the bottom. The, the worst berry. Now, strawberries would be higher on the tier list if they were easier to eat. Okay? But, they're just, they're not good enough to warrant the, like, effort that it is to eat a, to eat a black, to, to eat a strawberry. Like, you get, you get a bucket of, of blackberries, you can pick up a blackberry and eat it. You get a bucket of blueberries, pick up a blueberry and eat it. Bucket of raspberries, pick up a blueberry and eat it. You get a bucket full of, you know, strawberries, you gotta pick up a strawberry, bite around the, the stupid little green nubbin, throw it out, your, your hands are probably getting a little bit gross now at this point, cause like, you're like touching it and getting it everywhere. It's just, it's uh, it's annoying to eat. So it, it goes, it falls down the tier list in my opinion. It'd probably be um, above blueberry. I think the taste of a strawberry is superior to the taste of a blueberry, but you, you can just, I can go to the store, buy a basket of blueberries, and just eat them. I don't have to, like, do any work, you know? And a gooseberry has some, some work associated with it as well, but a gooseberry is just a really tasty berry. It's, it's worth putting in the effort to eat the gooseberry, and it's also, like, easier to eat a gooseberry than to eat a strawberry, in my opinion. And they taste better, so it's like, you know, just win-win. Yeah, strawberry, it just, uh, typically when I eat a strawberry, I eat it with a knife. I will cut the, the green nubbin off, and then, uh, and then eat the strawberry. I do like strawberries. They taste good. It's just typically, you know, if you put strawberries in front of me, I'm probably not going to really eat them. Usually I just won't eat them. Just because I'm like, I have other things I would rather eat, and I'm like, typically I'd rather just not eat a strawberry than eat a strawberry, you know? Like, it's typically just, like, not worth the effort to eat it, <laughs> you know? Like, like they're good, but they just, they, they're too much effort, you know? Like, to have, like, four strawberries, it's, 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 it's a, it's a process, and I'm like, I'd rather just spend that time doing something else. I'm not, like... Nobody's eating four strawberries because they're hungry, and, uh, like, the strawberry is their, like, lunch, okay? Nobody's, nobody's doing that, okay? You, you eat them because you got berries, and you're like, ooh, I like strawberries, I'll have a couple, you know? And, uh, for me, it's just like, eh. They're not worth it. They're just not worth it. I just don't view them as, uh, as being worth the effort required to open them. So they, they fall to the bottom of the, the berry list. There's a lot of other berries I haven't had, but those are the berries that I have had. And that's the ranking. Blackberry, though, is my favorite berry. Always has been and always will. It's just, it's a very tasty berry. It's not the best berry when you make, like, a jam or a sauce out of it or something. Definitely raspberry is. Um, blackberries take on this really, like, bitter sort of almost like tangy kind of taste to it when you um when you cook them which is uh i like it but it doesn't work in anything you know it's it's not it's not very sweet uh, whereas like a, a raspberry syrup is is typically quite sweet uh so it works better on on uh like french toast or pancakes or something like that although blackberries on pancakes and french toast is also really good it's just uh yeah, if you give me like a blackberry flavored candy or something like that, it's like, eh, I'd rather just have a blackberry. You know? Where 
rather just eat a blackberry. Whereas the other berries, they uh, they take on this this sort of sweet niceness when you uh, when you cook them into a syrup or something. The blackberry just doesn't get it. It does it doesn't get that same. It just gets seedy and yeah, not desirable. But if we're just talking a blackberry. Absolutely. Uh, you know, a little bowl of blackberries, some ice cream, or something like that. You got, you got, you got, you got me a, a great a little dessert there. Okay. Blackberries and like some vanilla ice cream. Oh, you're just, you're treating me nicely. Spoiling me. Get out of here, dude. So I read a lot of manga, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's always it's, it's funny because sometimes um, I have I have a I have a friend of mine who will who will send me manga from time to time uh, that I'll like, and I I love them dearly for it. I love them dearly for many other things too. They're a very very kind, sweet person. They are. Uh, very nice. I appreciate them as a, as a friend. I love having them as a friend, and I love them as a, as a friend. Got to clarify the friend there. There's no uh, there's no romantic feelings there. They don't have any romantic feelings for me either. But anyway, that's not that's like completely besides the point. Um, they send me manga from time to time, um, and uh, yeah, I hate you. And uh, sometimes they'll be like, I've got one, but I don't think you're really going to like it. And then they'll send it to me. And uh, <laughs> like the, the cover page is just a girl with her like ginormous boobs just hanging out of her shirt or like in her shirt. But it's like really prominently displayed in the cover page. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I'm probably not going to like it. It's a uh, it's it's a good like sort of filter when you just avoid the manga like that. Like we went over with the anime recently, and I had a similar kind of thing. I was like, yeah, there's just like a bunch of girls and one guy on the cover. You know, it's not going to be good just from that. You don't need to know anything else about. It. You know, it's going to be about the girls, and it's, it's just a harem. You know, you know, it's not going to be good. Anyway. Uh, they sent me one today, which uh, which fell into that category. It was um, my tiny coworker is too cute or something like that, and it was uh, you know the, the the like cover page was just the girl with her like enormous boobs just being there, you know, like it, she had a shirt on, but like they were enormous boobs. You know, her character is obviously just small with big boobs, you know? And I'm like, yeah, I probably won't like it. I read it, because uh, if he says I might like it, then, then I'll trust him. You know, I trust his uh, I trust his word on that almost more than mine. Uh, so if he says I'll like it anyway, I'll, I'll try it at least, you know? Don't have high hopes, but I'll, I'll give it a go, you know? Put a lot of value on his opinion. Um, hey... So I, I read it. It was it was it was it was it was reasonably cute. But there was another one which was like um, like in the future, my happy coworker, which was them in the future after they've like gotten married and whatever, which was just garbage. <laughs> like I did not enjoy it at all. I read like two chapters of it and I'm just yeah. It was just it was just like a lot of I'll be your wifey pillow, I'll be your husby pillow, and I'm like I just want to like do something that's like interesting for once so I uh, I'll, I'll be reading the my tiny co-worker or whatever but the a happy couple the you know them in the future don't doesn't get doesn't get a very strong recommend from me you know it gets a it gets a very poor recommend <laughs> anyway it's gonna do it for today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.